robots for the melee do not look shy. This is Little Fly from Dover. Richard, what are you going to do to the other robots? Smash them to pieces. Yes. This uh, plate here rotates at 1,000 RPM, which is pretty fast. Aluminium coated. Looking quite good, actually. Something. It's a bit of a grungy bot. What was your thinking behind the design of this? Right, we wanted to build something that was dead low tech. So we can hack back at the computer electro age of the scientific yes. generation. Yes, Indeed fighting so. tool. Dirty fighting tool. And it's tool. built for brawling. This is the Weldor team. They lost their axe to kill a lot in the last wars. Back, bigger axe, better we hope, but a lot of it hasn't been tested yet. So for all of us, it will be a revelation. This war's veteran returns with a wedge shape to bulldoze, a pickaxe to shred, a spike to puncture. Took two years to build with parts plucked from rubbish skips. Is this something special or something and nothing? Because it was last time around on the word activate came flying out against the pit bull and... Uh, well, that was it. Over in a trice. Get a lot finished them off. Something and nothing, surely, last time around. Can't do worse, can it? Hi, I'm Dig. This is my mates Johnny and Jeff, and this is our robot, the Something. It's greatly improved from last year, hopefully more reliable. Uh, we've still got the great big axe, and we've still got the spikes and the forklift type of thing. Got a bit of a wedge at the back here as well. A bit more weld this year. A bit more weld, <laughs> a bit less weight. From Dover, little fly. Named after the team's horse power comes from two wheelchair motors, but top speed's just four miles an hour. Not impressive. The weapons and agricultural lawnmower blade giving the fly plenty of buzz. Hello, my name's John. This is Richard, my son, and the uh, team member Andy. And this is our robot, Little Fly. It's powered by two 24 volt wheelchair motors, and it's got a 12 volt starter motor for a weapon, which is a spinning blade. Um, it's got a searchlight on the front so we can see where we're going and hopefully confuse the enemy. And a special warning light on the front so we can see when the uh, weapon's armed and spinning round. Hopefully we're going to do rather well in the wars and um, chop some uh, opponents up. From Belfast, Weldor. Heaviest but fastest in the heat, reached the second round of the last wars, has a pneumatic hammer and self-writing ramming arm, six millimetre thick polycarbonate shell. I worry if the ground clearance is too great in places though. It wasn't necessarily a problem last time around, knocked out in round two by King Buxton, slamming it against the arena wall. The axe then pinned itself to the arena wall, and in came Killalot, and, uh, well, you face the... Shock was the message there. Out they went, well north from Belfast. Hi there, my name's Phelan, this is David, this is Damien, we're Team Weldar, um, this is our new robot. We were here at the last wars, completely new design, hopefully we've got a far stronger axe than what we had last year. Pneumatic flipper, um, last year we had a bit of a run in with Sir Killalat, he snipped off our axe, hopefully this year, we'll, everything goes well for us, we'll get an wee chance, we'll get an wee poke on this year. Robotiers, stand by. Little Fly with Andy Hoskin at the controls on the right hand side there, little Richard in the middle. Here's something with Dig in the middle at the controls. There's Weldor, Bellum at the controls with half of Belfast City in there with him too. Interesting to see something here. They say it's got a little bit of welding, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of a razor blade, I would suggest, in Dig's household. Not a complete one. That's Weldor on the right now, and Little Fly coming rushing in with the 1000 RPM agricultural lawnmower blade spinning. I thought it was stuck for one moment. Something's lasted longer than it did last time around with the pickaxe blade coming in. Fast on Little Fly, bouncing away. Good aggression by something. Weldor uh, looking to cause some damage. Something spins away. They're shunting it top of your picture. Bash to the left. Wants to stay clear of those. Oh, slam! like dodgems in the fairground. Good even contest this. Again, that blade seems to be struck by Little Fly. Once it hits metal, it seems to jar, drag, and then uh, have a redundant spell. That's something with the great axe coming down once again. The big axe built for brawling jewels describes something. Low tech in the war against high tech computers. Something fighting back for the age old traditions, perhaps. Slam goes the axe on Weldor's frame. It'll need something to penetrate that six millimeter polycarbonate shell, though. 
with all the aggression from something and Richard Digg to give him his full name and the control sir in the middle is doing splendidly here that little nudge from Weldor on little fly and again it was something that came slamming in little flies rotational blades spinning but not causing any major damage trying to get things going Andy Hoskin at the controls young Richard there from St Margaret School in Kent giving him advice something to the left hand side very even this could go to the judges style control damage and aggression they'll be looking there to add up the points little fly a little bit too slow for me four miles now top speeds that dig at the controls again of something the aggressor certainly in the heat on the wedge shape front of Weldor trying to uh, get an angled run in so that the axe can cause maximum damage Weldor back strengthened a new robot for this competition knocked out in round two by King Baxin last time around Weldor as it stopped, I wonder. Something is certainly still active, but that was the penetrating blow of the axe of something. And I just wonder, Weldor, I think, has been immobilized by that blow. Weldor has been immobilized. In comes Shunt now. Weldor's out of it. So the judges will not have to decide. Weldor has gone. Shunt with a smack of the axe. Bash in there behind as well. Very good even contest. It was one decisive for Weldor, Fellow London, Damien and David in his team. King eyes of menace and destruction, the torch also a bash, there's shunt as well, but they've survived with little fly, just the pit descends, and the destination of Weldor into the gloom of the pit. came all the way from Belfast. They've got to turn around and go back again. They go out. I think that was, well, to be fair now to the week, that wee small uh, little fly, he was doing us a lot of damage with his, uh, his flipper. Uh, we spinning this thing. And uh, I think he's done the majority of that there, damage there. Um, he did remove one of my cables off my batteries, and that's what actually immobilized us. And then once that happened, then the house robots just moved in. So Killer Lap done that there, damage. Um, and Shunt done that there. But there was nothing in there, like, but I was more worried about the Thontax speed controller, like so. But it's, it's 100%, so at least you can go home now and start building for next year.